Hello, today we're going to do an introduction on funnels. You'll notice that I have two types of funnels here today. This is the one we're going to spend the most time on, so let's go ahead and talk about this one so we can get it out of the way. This is a powder funnel. Powder funnels are designed to transfer powder or massive amounts of powder from one container into another one that probably has a smaller mouth. We are not going to be using these very often, and today what we're going to specifically focus on is how to use standard funnel. As far as a standard funnel is concerned, it is used to basically do some filtration. We'll talk about filtration more in class, but with this funnel, we want to go ahead and figure out where the liquid is going to go through and what's going to come out and how that's going to work. You'll notice that I have a ring stand and I have two rings that are on it. Those two rings are designed so I can show you how to set up the funnel itself. You'll notice that I want the funnel to sit inside of the ring so it's nice and comfortable and it's not going to fall out or fall through. Make sure that when you get a ring for this that you don't get the wrong size because if you get the wrong size it's going to fall straight through and not be doing what you want it to. So we'll get rid of that thing. So we'll put the funnel and it is now in the ring stand. You'll notice that the ring is then clamped tight and I could put whatever down here I want to collect the liquid in. I could collect the liquid in flasks. So here's a small Erlenmeyer flask, here's a larger Erlenmeyer flask, or I can collect it into beakers or whatever other device you want to. I'm gonna go ahead and use the beaker for right now. Well then the next thing is I have to put something in here because if I just decide to pour my, by the way, this is yellow food coloring in water. If I just pour this in here like so, all I'm doing is just pouring it through the funnel. It's not doing anything. It's not trying to filter anything out in the slightest. It's just going to go straight through from one to the other. So I need something in here to actually block it, and that's going to be filter paper. So how do you fold the filter paper? There are, by the way, more than one size of filter paper. Hopefully your instructor will give you the right size for the funnel that you have. This one should fit that funnel nicely. We're going to fold the filter paper in half. Then we're going to fold the filter paper in half again. And now we're actually ready to put this into the funnel. Now what I've seen lots of people do is they put it in the funnel like this and attempt to pour the liquid through it. And all that happens is everything goes down this side opening here and nothing ends up happening. What you want to do is you'll notice that now that I have this folded over twice, that I have pretty much four layers of paper. You do not want to put it in the funnel between layers two and three. You want to go between, let's say, one and two, or between three and four. And you'll notice when you go to stick the funnel paper, filter paper into the funnel, it kind of doesn't stay where you want it to. How do you get it to stay? Once again, three layers of paper on one side, one layer of paper on the other, hold it steady, grab some water, and squirt some water into it. Now you'll notice that that water is going to basically hold that tight to the side. Then you can set it into the, into the ring stand, in the ring, and at this point I should be ready to filter this. So when I go to filter this, one last key note. When I pour water that I'm going to be filtering through, you want to make sure that the level of the liquid does not get higher than the level of the paper. Notice the level of liquid is higher. Let me show you bad technique. Bad technique would be pour this so high that the level of the water is actually higher than the paper. That just means the water is going to go behind the paper and trickle down through to the bottom. So once again, a quick review of everything that we looked at. Number one, we have a powder funnel, wide bottom. We're generally not going to use this if you're trying to filter a solution or a liquid. This is your standard funnel. We talked about folding filter paper, which was you fold it in half, fold it in half a second time. And when you stick it into the funnel, you want to make sure that you have three layers of paper on one side and one layer of paper on the other. Use a little bit of water to hold it into place, and then use a ring clamp on a ring stand to hold it in position so you can put whatever collection device you are going to need underneath it. And that way you don't have to hold it. Last note, do not poke. 
inside the filter paper. It's going to take a long time for this to filter. It's going to take a long time to listen. let it sit there and go. Do not touch it. Do not try to help it. It's going to need time. Wait. Only thing that can happen is if you start poking in there, you're going to poke a hole through the bottom of that filter paper. And let's say I decided to do that. And then all of a sudden, now you have a hole in the filter paper. It goes straight down and you filtered absolutely nothing. So once again, take your time. Have a good afternoon.